switching gears, have you ever thought about getting a facelift and wondered what is really involved and how do you know who to go to to make sure you get the look you want? We visited Dr. Paul Stanislaw in Avon to find out more as we follow the journey of one woman from Weathersfield who is very happy to be a grandma but just doesn't want to look old. This is Krista Harrington when she got engaged. This is Krista before she decided she wanted to get a facelift. And here she is about two months after having her surgery. I saw some pictures of myself with my grandson. And I said, ooh, I look a lot older than I thought. The camera's not always kind. And um, so I thought that I don't want my grandchildren to remember me just always looking this this way it was not something i wanted i wanted a more uh, younger looking grandma when krista was having kids her mom was in her 40s and she wants to look as young as she feels when she's playing with her grandkids i'm on this side of the daisies is how i look at it and as long as i'm on this side of the daisies i'm going to look as well as i can Krista is from Weathersfield, and her first big decision was which doctor she would go to. So she asked around and looked online. And Dr. Stanislaw's name just kept coming up over and over, and um, just awesome recommendations. So I called, made an appointment. She was nervous before her consultation, since she'd never done any kind of surgery or even fillers before. She was relieved when she met Dr. Paul Stanislaw, who is double board certified in facial plastic and reconstructive surgery and in head and neck surgery. Krista decided to have her facelift right here in the office in Avon. About 70% of the people choose to do it in the office. Um, they are wide awake though, so there's no sedation, there's no IVs, there's no pills. Mm -hmm. um, it's just basically uh, me with uh, injecting numbing medication. So there is a little bit of a pinch in a burn when I inject the numbing medication sort of when you go to the dentist, but not as bad. Um, so as I make you numb, you're numb. You don't feel anything. And basically, a lot of times people just fall asleep while we're doing it. Did um, you fall asleep? No. No, she talked. I we talked. talked. Yeah, we talked. We talked to, to the whole thing. Are you surprised? <laughs> he talked. And he listened to music. He listened to music. He's using a three-step approach to remedy the deep lines Krista doesn't like. First came the facelift. The incision goes right in front of the sideburn here. It goes under the sideburn. It goes in the crease in front of the ear here. And then it goes behind this cartilage here. This is called the tragus. It goes inside the ear and it goes here. Um, this is two months out. She has no makeup on her incisions. She's still a little bit pink, but she's healing very, very well. And the thing that actually takes the time with the facelift is really designing this incision and um, closing it well. So there's no staples. We don't use any staples. It's all with little, little tiny stitches. It, it's basically painless. Um, really? People yes. would find that surprising. A facelift is painless. Painless. Krista took time off to stay at home with bandages until she healed, but says the recovery was easy. I had ibuprofen that night and the next day, and that was it. So you didn't even need any strong pain drugs? Nothing. After the facelift healed, it was time to plump up her cheeks. For that, we used uh, the Restylane products. We used uh, Restylane Lift and Plain Restylane, and we injected uh, under her eyes, because her eyes, eyes were very, very hollow. We injected up into her cheeks here, because when you talk about cheek augmentation, people always think big, fat, fat cheeks, and it's really not trying to give people big, fat cheeks. It's to try to, to replicate the shape of their cheeks when they were younger. So we have that picture of her when she was older, and you can see how her cheeks were rounder, and just her, she had a, like, uh, a gentle convexing, we're just trying to recreate that. She's very happy with the results. I'm not one to like toot my own horn or whatever, but I'm thinking, wow. <laughs> you know, I'm a little embarrassed to say that, that I think, you know, because vanity is, I don't know, you know, I was like always thought, you know, vanity is bad, but it's really not. I think uh, the idea of doing something for yourself is good. It's a good thing. What'd your son say? Uh, I rock. <laughs> I never thought of myself as rocking, but here I am. He says, Mom, you rock. Aww. And even my little grandson, he goes, he goes, he calls me Oma. He goes, Oma, you look so nice. And she's going to look even younger soon. The last step will be to smooth out her finer wrinkles. The next stage um, for us is basically, if you look under her eyes, you, know, you can see that that skin has become creepy. It's lost a lot of its elasticity. So give us a big smile. 
So when it sort of shifts up, it, it pushes up like an accordion. So you can relax. So what we're going to end up doing is uh, we can do a little bit of Botox or Dysport here to stop the, the, the muscles from contracting and smooth that out. But we're also going to do a chemical peel through here to help tighten up that skin. I've had such a good experience here um, that the staff is professional but very friendly. Once more, let's see Krista's transformation. It, it is a big decision, but I think the results are just so worth it. Just so worth it. Mm, she's obviously very happy, and if you're interested in what you can do to turn back the clock on aging, you can book a consultation with Dr. Stanislaw at the Stanislaw Plastic Surgery Center in Avon. His office is located on Nod Road in Avon, and be sure to check out his website. Lots of information there. It's StanislawMD.com. Kara?